In this tutorial, we are going to complete this chain link fence. We're going to export it from Maya as two pieces. So we have a continuation of this chain link fence, like a modular small set. We're going to import into UE5. Then we're going to import our textures that we created in previous tutorial. And we're going to hook everything up and make it work. So first, let's go ahead and take these two pieces and export them. So we have something to import. So I'm going to take this piece right here. This is going to be our piece number one. And I'm going to go to file, export selection. And let's go ahead and name it. So it's going to be exported as FBX. I'm going to give it a name. And in this case, it's going to be fence underscore chain link. The properties are going to be on the geometry, smoothing groups and smooth mesh. These are the two important ones that we need to make sure they are checked. And then go ahead and export selection. And now let me move this off to the side. And now let's go ahead and export this post. Since I've uh, freeze transformations at the world origin, I can just go ahead and zero this out in translate. It'll bring it into the world origin. And I can go ahead and file export selection. For this one, I'm going to name fence underscore post. Same options as before as this piece right here, export. All right, and we are set. In UE5, let's go ahead and import our static meshes and our textures. We're going to start with static meshes first. Now, I already have a project created where we're going to import things into. And inside the content browser, I have a folder where I'm going to bring in the assets into. Then just navigate into the folder where you exported your static meshes and your textures. So I'm going to do static meshes first. I'm going to select them both and just drag them right into the content browser. The only options I'm going to take a look at here and mention, I am going to generate my missing collisions. I'm going to scroll down and under materials, I am not going to import textures and I am not going to let UE5 create materials for me. These usually are checked on and usually you have create new material and I am not going to. We're going to create things ourselves and we're going to import our own textures. So go ahead and import all. And here's our two meshes. Then navigate to where you have your textures and let's go ahead and bring them in. I'm going to drag them right into the same folder and they're going to be right next to the static meshes. One of them is going to be converted to a normal map. So UE5 recognizes one is a normal map and converts it for us. Perfect. Just going to click OK or just let it disappear. The one texture we need to do something with is the packed texture. I'm going to double click to open that up. So this is where we have the metallic ambient occlusion and roughness packed in together. And all I need to do is make sure that sRGB is disabled and then save it. This is very important that you do this here. Let's go ahead and close this. And let's take a look at our color. I'm going to double click to open that up and I'm going to disable R, G and B and take a look at the alpha. So this way I just wanted to show you that we have an alpha channel that was exported with substance. And that's what we're going to use to create the see through of the fence. We don't need to do anything here. I'm going to close this off. So let's create a material and uh, put the textures and assign them, connect them where they need to be. This is going to be a very simple material. I'm not going to create anything extra with it. We're just going to use the textures that we have connect them up, assign the material to our meshes and call it done. And then if you wanted to do anything extra, you can set that up. So I'm going to, in empty space, I'm going to right click, go to material. I'm going to name this M underscore chain link and double click to open that up. Next, let's drag our three textures in here. I'm going to select them, left click and drag into the material editor. I'm going to dock this, make this smaller. And let's go ahead and connect them up. So the albedo is going to go to RGB into base color. Our normal map, of course, is going to go RGB into normal map. And then we have our packed texture. Now we have an alpha in here, A, that needs to be connected into the opacity mask. We don't have that available to us right now. So you need to select the main material node then go to the properties for it in the details panel and under blend mode, change from opaque to masked. And that's going to give you the uh, availability to connect the alpha into opacity mask. This is very important. This is what gives you the see through and ability to use the, uh, the alpha. So just left click and drag from alpha of your albedo, your color 
into opacity mask. And then let's take our packed texture and connect it up to where it needs to be. So RGB have information in them. I like to use ARM, A-R-M as an acronym to remember what I need to do with this. R is ambient occlusion. Green is roughness. And blue channel is metallic. Arm, RGB, ambient occlusion, roughness, metallic. Easy way to remember. And now let's go ahead and save it. Let's go back to our map. We have our material. I'm going to double click on the chain link fence to open up the static mesh editor. And I'm also going to do this with the post because I want to assign the material to the mesh. So it applies to every single mesh that we insert into the level. So it basically will assign it to the static mesh instead of I have to drag each material onto each static mesh in the map. So I'm going to go back to my content browser, take the chain link fence. And actually, let me uh, undock these and undock this one. I can go ahead and close the chain link material. And I'm just going to go ahead and take the material drag it right into this property right here for each static mesh inside the static mesh editor. So it's going to assign it to the pole. And then I'm going to go to the fence chain link and I'm going to take the same material and assign to the same material slot. So here, if I take a closer look, we can see right through our fence and we have everything that we did inside substance painter. Let's go ahead and save it. Save. I can close this off now and just drag the fence and the post. Now the post itself, that can be uh, weighted. Uh, we don't have to drag it right now because now we can just go ahead and duplicate this across. I'm gonna switch my grid to 10, select the post or select the chain link. I can go ahead and start duplicating it. It will snap next to itself. And then whenever I need to close it off, just drag the post, position it where it needs to be. Position right there on the end. Make sure it is aligned up like so. Uh, let me lower my grid. And here we are. We have now created a chain link fence you can see through for Unreal Engine 5. Let me go ahead and jump in. Get up a little closer to it. And we have our chain link fence. So this is how you create a chain link fence from the very beginning, from modeling to UVing to texturing and substance and then bring in everything into UE5 and making it work.